Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of Trail Makers, and we are diving into a brand new update called the Mod Makers Update, which if you haven't guessed already, it brings mod support to Trail Makers. Now, mods have technically already been a thing for a little while in Trail Makers. It just involved going into the game files and changing some stuff around or adding some files or downloading stuff. Basically, it wasn't the most user-friendly way to use mods, but now mods are officially on the workshop, meaning they are just a click of a button away from being installed and they actually have like a user interface in the game now. Now, if you saw yesterday's Trailmakers video, you will have seen that we showcased the other part of the update, which is based around destruction. So structures now break in different ways than they used to. They're more likely to break into individual chunks when receiving damage rather than just completely getting annihilated in one hit. And also, uh, same thing with the tank cannons. The tank cannons are way less destructive than they used to be, but now that makes things like tank battles or just battling with tank cannons actually a fight rather than just instant annihilation every single time. But this video obviously is gonna be focusing on the mods this time. If you missed the destruction based video from yesterday, go ahead and check that out after this video. All right, so we are in the game and as you can see, the game looks just the way it always had. So you might be wondering where are the mods, Scrap Man? Well, that's the wonderful thing about this mod update is that you can toggle them on and off at a whim while you're in the game. So all you do is you go to session options and now you have this activate mods button. So you click that and then it gives you a list of mods that you have subscribed to on the workshop. So these are all the mods that I subscribe to. I think the first five or six or so, I think uh, from the block mod to the track maker mod, these were the ones that are built into the game files themselves by default. But then everything after that, I'm pretty sure all of these are uploaded to the workshop. These ones were like user made ones. So for example, for really simple test here, I click complexity mod and then I exit the screen. And now you can see up in the corner of my screen, there is complexity mod. So now what you can do is you press F4 and this allows you to uh, take control of the mouse instead of the camera. And you can come up here and you can set the complexity to wherever you want. You can minimize this uh, so it doesn't take up as much. You can move it anywhere on your screen and have it just sit there. I like to keep them up into this uh, corner when I can. But if I wanted to, I could set the complexity limit to this much, set complexity. And now basically I can build as much as I want until my game breaks. So, oh, what did I do? Did I, I, uh oh, structure too complex. I can't add anymore, but what did I do? I think I've I've made the number so big that it's actually zero. Uh, all right, let's do, instead of 700, how about, how about a more reasonable number, 5,000. There we go. Now I think 5,000 is actually the complexity limit. All right, so now let me go into my blueprints. Let's spawn some big stuff in here. There we go. There's no way this can be bad for the game. So this is maximum complexity right here in a normal game. This is 700 blocks. Now I'm just gonna double it gonna click the copy button and there we go we're at 1400 blocks for the first time ever i have surpassed the 700 block limit and uh we can go ahead and spawn another one of these in just like that and you know what let's just do it one one more time for good measure it's not letting me my mouse is stuck oh no a critical error has occurred so uh these are the risks when you start pushing the game past the limits it has given you for very, very good reasons. It's probably not a stretch to say that the 700 complexity limit was probably chosen very intentionally for very specific reasons. But if for some reason you need like a couple hundred more blocks or something, I'm sure the game will forgive you as long as your computer is up to it. In which case you might have to ask forgiveness from your computer instead. My computer's doing just fine, I think. All right, back to the mods. So that's the complexity mod. Uh, there's some other really interesting mods that they're kind of difficult to use just because of how the user interface works. But uh, I think the trail spawn is one of those. So I'm gonna open up the trail spawn here. And if you have the game, by the way, these are all mods that you can just, just go to the workshop and you can actually sort by mods and you can find all of these on the workshop and try them out yourself. So this trail spawn thing allows you to spawn uh, a bunch of different things and it tells you what you can do. So you just right here, barrel, spawn item. And as you can see, it has spawned a barrel right over there. So you can clean up to clear it. And then if you change this to any of these words down here, like chicken, does caps matter? I didn't mean to have caps on. All right, caps doesn't matter. So there goes the chicken. Let's go ahead and clean it up. I thought clean up would just make it disappear, not actually kill the thing right in front of my eyes. All right, we can spawn bear. You may remember these from a uh, multiplayer video a while ago. You can even spawn, uh, let's see what shipwreck is all about. Shipwreck, spawn. Oh, 
Okay, uh, uh, what happened here? There's been a shipwreck that's right over there in the bay. But yeah, there's some crazy things you could spawn in here. I could spawn in a whale, for instance. If you ever wanted to have your own pet whale in, uh, Trail Makers, then here you go. I don't think it doesn't look like it has any collisions here. What if I spawn in a vehicle? Hello, Mr. Whale. Nope, no collisions. It's a ghost whale. It's not real. The whale is a lie. So I'm gonna skip the block editor for now because first I wanna go to simple spawning because that's very similar to what we just saw. So simple spawning just gives you very particular things to spawn in. And these are more like interactive things like piece of gold, the monkey, uh, runner chicken, these chaser things that were from a previous version of the game. And then you got the, uh, wait a minute. How, oh. Well, that's fun. Oh, they do respawn. Okay, I was wondering like, how are you supposed to have these things in the game if they spawn underneath you and immediately explode? But they recharge themselves, so that's nice. Here, let's drive my vehicle into one of these. This could be fun. We could actually make some obstacle courses with explosive obstacles in them. I like that. All right, moving on. Or should I say modding on? All right, we got the block editor. Now the block editor is something that I actually want to experiment with at some point. Uh, so this is, you can see the top right, it's made by Ridiculous. So you go into your build mode, you select a block, and you can see you got options now. So for this thing, you can set your mass. So for instance, if I set this uh, cannon here, I'll just set this mass to, oh, I probably shouldn't put symbols in my number. I'm just gonna set it to that. So it's gonna have a lot of mass very suddenly. And you can see, yeah, I'm pretty heavy right now. This is a very, very heavy, it doesn't even move, the re there's no recoil or anything. I wanna find the spot where it seems not normal, but not broken. 100, how about 100? Oh, there you go. That's interesting, isn't it? All right, let's put it on the back and see the difference it makes. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. All right, here, I'm just gonna put this tiny cannon right in the back here. And we're gonna set this thing to have all the buoyancy. There we go. All right, now let's go into the water. Oh my good, look at that. It it bounces us. It's basically like the water is a solid surface right now. Now we should have incredible amounts of buoyancy on our wheels. There we go. They don't have any friction, unfortunately, but these things have absolutely unreasonable buoyancy. Here, let's give ourselves a mini thruster just so we can actually go somewhere. All right, go. <laughs> <laughs> this is so I don't even touch the water like that's how much buoyancy these have I don't even touch the water I'm sure there's a perfect level where we could be like kind of in the water and kind of not but uh, that might be for another video All right, but those aren't the only values You can also set the health value of an individual block and you can set drag values from the front the back the left The right the top the bottom all kinds of drag values That's actually really useful to know that you have all those individual drag drag values in the first place You can set color palettes uh, No current palettes. I don't actually I don't know how that works you can set colors. Okay, what else we got for mods? We'll turn the block editor off. Uh, trail edit. So this one, you can spawn in like uh, world building objects. So for instance, if I want to spawn in a spiky canyon, there we go, we got that. I can undo it. Plate canyon, apparently. And then we can have like different rotations, but you have to kind of like know what rotation you want. So there we go, there's that. So it's not the easiest thing if you really want to control what you're doing, but you can spawn all kinds of stuff. I could spawn in a whale. Oh, that's a vertical whale. Normal whale, please. There you go, there's your whale again. You can spawn in one of these guys. And you get a whole other page here. Just like, oh, what did I just spawn in? What did I? What? Oh, am I inside of it? I'm inside of it. Okay, there's a rock there. It doesn't seem like most of the stuff that spawns it. That was really cool what I just did. And uh, that also proved my statement I was about to say completely wrong. I was gonna say it looks like most of the stuff doesn't have collisions, but uh, this obviously does. So never mind about that. Oh, we can spawn a catapult. Is it a working catapult? Please tell me it's a, it's, oh, it's a working catapult. Oh, that's good. That is really, really good. And this gives you actual control over the orientation of them and stuff too. Scale, oh, if I say 0.5, am I gonna have a miniature catapult? Oh no, look at this. This is so good. This is so good, does it It works. It's a mini catapult that actually works. 
But I don't I don't like how it spawns above me like that naturally. All right, catapult. There we go. Now it's in the ground. Figured it out. And now, but I'm stuck in it. I'm actually here. Let's spawn this. Get in that. We'll get out of that. And we'll bring it over here. All right, miniature catapult test. Take one. Mi miniature. It's. I'm stuck in. What? How am I stuck? All right, miniature catapult test. Take two. <laughs> what just happened? Come on. Yeah. Look at that. All right, you know we gotta do a, a two times size catapult. Let's see if this feels stronger. I think it's too strong. I think it goes so fast that the vehicle can't actually keep up with it. Yeah, it made me break the sound barrier. All right, maybe I just need a bigger vehicle. Let's try this. Please work. All right, I think it's too strong. I think big catapult is too strong. Okay, well, there's just a ton. I'm on page nine now. There's just so much stuff you can spawn in. All right, well, it looks like there's 22 pages. Is this a different whale? Oh no, I still have the scale set to 10. <gasps> oh, whoops. <laughs> That's a big whale. That is a big whale. Oh boy. Okay, I think I've done enough with the trail edit mod. Let's go look at another mod. This one is really, really awesome. This is the Track Creator Plus. So this, if you couldn't guess by the title, allows you to create tracks. So basically, you can make a track that follows where you go and you set the start and the end points. You can even manually set checkpoints or have checkpoints automatically inputted onto it. So I have auto checkpoints on right now. And you don't have to be in a vehicle. You can walk, you can fly. The checkpoints can be in the air. You can have any kind of course you want, basically. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it by doing the backslash. And there's the beginning. And now you can see there are some tires on either side that are actually just gonna follow me wherever I go. And you can set the width of these tires so you can have the width of the track be different amounts. There you go, it just automatically put a checkpoint in right there. And it'll put another checkpoint in soon. And in a second now, there we go, there's another checkpoint. And if I get out of my vehicle, you can see it continues putting the wheels down. And now I can go straight up like this. And yeah, there we go. Now we have a checkpoint in the air. So the tires, unfortunately, they don't make sense once you start doing air races, but you can see that at least the checkpoints are in the air. And if you made a mistake and you don't want one of these checkpoints and you wanna like, I don't know, well, I guess you can't backtrack the tires necessarily, but uh, you can go over here and do, where is it, where is it? Oh, you have to place the finish line first. So here you can place finish line. There we go, finish line is down here. And now you can go to edit track and you can go checkpoint delete mode. And now, whatever checkpoint your character goes through will delete that checkpoint. So you can see he has a checkpoint right here. And now it's gone. So then, once you have your course down, you can go to race mode. And I've made this course kind of like impossible to uh, navigate because I have that checkpoint up in the air. But now that we're in race mode, I think all you have to do is go over to the beginning here and it'll start the race. And... The race has started and it should be keeping track of my time. Yeah, my time is going up. I have a lap time there. Oh, can you set the amount of laps? I didn't even I didn't even notice that. Here, let's uh, quit race. Hmm, I don't see a way to set the laps. Maybe I just haven't found it yet. All right, let's move on to another mod. So mods not only can give different functionality to the game, but they can also give different maps to the game. So if I click Battle Arena, you can see some weird stuff happen in the background. And uh, that is because I am now in a battle arena. As you can see, this is definitely something that I want to use. Oh, look at this. This is a miniature press. And it actually works, of course. So you got, we actually have grinders on the edges, all kinds of stuff, fun things to push bots into and things like that. So we could totally do a battle bots here. Um, let's get my vehicle. And I think these are just death holes. Yep, you just instantly die when you go in these, I'm pretty sure. Yep, that one destroys you. And then it looks like we got a fire pit over here. Probably just does the same thing. Oh. Well, you're kind of stuck in here, aren't you, anyway? All right, I think I know what this does. Oh, uh, okay. okay. A little bit, a little bit premature there. You, you gotta let me, you gotta let me get, you gotta, you gotta let me get on. Oh, okay, it, it, it reacts differently from different sides. It looks like if I come in from the side, I can actually get on top of it. Oh! Well, there you go. And I think we actually have a catapult over here. Yeah, it just literally catapults you right into the wall. All right, so we also have uh, space and space I think is a little bit interesting. 
I think we're building. Oh, you can see. I think it's better at night. Here, let's go into night mode. There we go. Yeah, now we're in space. Look at this. We got planets in here. Looks like we got some type of space station over there or something. And I'm falling in space. I think I actually need... I can't build in the... Oh, there we go. I think I actually need a vehicle. Probably something that flies, huh? All right, yeah. So we have zero G. I'm not falling anymore. But uh, the only thing about the space is I don't think these planets are, like, realistic. Like, they, I don't think they have their own gravitational pull. And I don't think they even have a surface. If I, I tested this out a little bit before the video. Yeah, there we... Yeah, you can see we can go right... Oh! What? What did I crash into here? Oh, okay. There's actually an island inside this planet. So this planet just surrounds an island. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. You can see we got some meteors and stuff around here. Do these things have collisions, I wonder? Oh, it would help if I didn't miss them. And it looks like space also has air resistance. So there is uh, wind. Their aerodynamics still matters. Oh, this just got a new texture. So it does look like... Oh, these are physical. Okay. Whoa. Does this move? What? That's actually pretty cool. I did not know that. Did that move because I hit it? Here, I got to try this with another one now. No way, these things actually move with contact. That's really cool. I thought they were just going to be static objects without even any collisions. All right, well, space got interesting. All right, so let's turn off space. Let's turn the daytime back on. And uh, we also have Mirage Island. So it looks like this is a custom race course. Here, let's spawn in this little vehicle again and drive on it a little bit. Uh-oh. I think, uh, I think zero G is still on. We have some leftover zero G from the space mod, but that's okay. I'll just spawn in the spawn mod. And by spawn in, I mean activate. And then we can set gravity. I don't know what norm, is normal gravity 10? That feels kind of normal. All right, there we go. Gravity should be good now. All right, and now we got, oh, look at this. We got a little, it's just like a go-kart track or something. This feels like a nice little go-kart track with little jumps in it. So yeah, people obviously have the ability to make their own maps and everything that they can just upload as a mod and you can... Oh, I don't think... I think this is from... I don't think that's supposed to be there. Some of the mods, when it comes to maps, uh, they have particular... You have to spawn them in particular maps. Like, I, I'm in the danger zone right now. This is obviously not compatible with the danger zone, I think. Because if I... Yep, yeah, this is part of... Uh, this is part of the danger zone map that's interfering with this custom mod here. So if you're in the test zone, this would probably work a lot better. All right, so I only got a couple more mods to look at. I'm just going to enable them all at the same time because you can't enable more than one mod at the same time. So, uh, hold on. What do, they, what do they even do? So we got the player launcher mod, the time mod, and the fly mod. So the fly mod, if you double tap space, uh, you can fly around and you can go a lot faster than you normally would be able to. You can go down, you can go up. So it's just a really, really nice, easy way to navigate quickly if you really want to. And then you double tap space and it goes back to normal. All right, now the player launcher mod is kind of interesting. Um, I think the, the command, it doesn't tell you the commands up there, but I had to look it up in the workshop. If you press I, it gives a pulse of the force number that you've put in there. So right now it's at 50 and that does that. It's not a whole lot, but you can see if I keep tapping it, it makes me go further and further. And it gives you a force only in the direction that you're facing. But if you press J, you can hold it down and it'll give a continuous force like this. And things can get a little bit out of hand. But that was only a force of 50. I could do something like a force of, let's say, 2000. And if I give a pulse of 2000, it feels like this. Hey, that was actually more survivable than I expected. Pew! Oh boy, ready? Let's face up into the air and do this. All right, and pew! Well, there you have it. Uh, now let's do a continuous one. How about that? Let's wait till we're facing up a little bit. And, oh no. Well, that's also an instant Sonic Boom machine. But you know what? Out of curiosity, let's just put this up to um, that, uh, that many. Okay, ready? And go! I think I instantly reached the edge of the map. Let's do it again. Go! <laughs> oh. I remember this place. I've been here before. Let's, uh, let's go back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. All right, so then the last mod I have to sample today is the time mod, which, uh, is gonna be super useful for me when it comes to making thumbnails and stuff. Um, however, it's not as powerful as I was hoping it would be, and I'll show you why in a second. But the time mod basically freezes time. So if I press N, 
There you go. Time is now frozen. You can see the thrusters are still going. I'm still flying in the air. And then if I press M, I can advance one frame in time. So I can just go like this. And now we're in the next frame. We're in the next frame. And so on. And it's a little bit glitchy. It like, it kind of goes ahead a little bit and then goes back. It's like two frames forward, one frame back. Um, but there's one issue I have with the time mod and that is that it does not apply to destroyed parts or destructible pieces. So for instance, if I'm about to crash on the ground here, let's freeze time. And it would be so awesome if I could just go frame by frame, advanced frame, and then watch it get destroyed frame by frame. But what happens is this. Once it hits the ground, it's gonna... There we go. And now everything gets destroyed and my character is having a very confused time right now. So yeah, that is a very quick overview of a lot of the mods that are available right now. And I cannot wait to see what else comes out as far as mods go. Because uh, we're going to have some interesting Trailmakers content to make in the future. With the mods that you've seen today, uh, let me know if you guys have any ideas on stuff you'd like to see me make a video on. I'll be looking in the comments for stuff like that. I already have some ideas of my own, but it's always good to see what the community wants as well. Reminder to check out yesterday's video on the destruction portion of the mod. We did a multiplayer evolution tank battle, so if that sounds awesome to you and you haven't seen it yet, now's the time to do it. Otherwise, you can check out some other fun stuff on the end screen right here. Hopefully this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.